Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do a video on raw food and sex. But before I do, I just wanted to give a shout out to my good friend Paige Piskin of generationym.com. I'll put up the um, link here for doing my awesome YouTube background. Should be around here. You should be able to see it. If you can't, check out my channel and also check out Paige's channel as well, which I'll put here. Alright, so enjoy the video. Bye. Sex. So today we're doing a video on raw food and sex on raw food, raw vegan specifically. And Durian Ryder's already getting his banana on. Preparing. <laughs> so how do you find <laughs> sex on raw vegan? <laughs> well, I find sex raw vegan way better than when I was with Corpse Crunches. Because it's just there's so many things, you know, smoother skin. How much better is smoother skin, you know, rubbing on mm. each other rather than this like rough, like pimply, you know, dry skin from eating corpse and pus. I mean, what are you doing with that? What? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Carb strong for a strong dog. Oh, Can't so get it up. Get the bananas in there. That's true. It does. It is. It, Bananas harder on raw vegan. It just is more blood flow to that area, so it makes sense. So the the, the fish bras, one of them said, oh, I ate a little piece of like salmon, and all of a sudden I got an erection the next day. It's like if you guys can't get an erection when you're in your twenties, man, something's something's wrong. Mm -hmm. Something's wrong. So and it's more sleep, more calories. It's not because you're fish deficient, bras. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> who, need, who needs a piece of fish for a hard on? Oh my God. Who wants to taste like a piece of fish? Exactly. Crack open a can of tuna and pour it on your partner. That ain't sexy. Uh, I'm not licking that off your body. No. I don't want to eat. I don't want to be eating fish. If you know what I mean. No. Here's the here's the thing. Look at the sales of Viagra. Viagra in society. And look at all that much fish we're eating. We eat more fish than ever before. We're popping more Viagra than ever before. Popping more stimulants than ever before. People's sex drives is dropping out the window. Oh, they're, they're, they're all fruitarians. All those people oh, yeah. buying like Viagra fruitarians. Didn't you know that? That's right. Thank <laughs> God. Yeah. But there's also like breath. You know, like you don't have any of that foul meaty pie breath. On dog this dog breath. Dog breath. It is essentially dog breath. Fruit breath or dog breath? Mm -hmm. Eat like a vulture or eat like a human? I know what I want to eat like. I know what I want to smell like. You know, and body odor as well. Oh man, like just that sort of pussy, meaty I mean, odor I mean, emanating. I'm trying to eat. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's a deeper connection. When you eat the same, hey, give me some of that banana. When you eat the same, there is a way deeper connection. Haven't you noticed that? Get in your mouth. <laughs> Definitely, like, intimacy. When you've got the intimacy going on. Because your hearts are connected, because you're on the same page, you're in the same chapter, you're in the same direction. You have a greater level of intimacy. So when you get your, you know, when you get your rocks off, instead of laying there going, "Well, I've got to get out of here," you like you can talk about stuff, you can connect. That's that's what's always been missing in a lot of my relationships. You know, once you blow your load, you sort of laying there going, "Well, you know, now I have to talk to you." I'm like, "Oh, I want to get out of here." That's why prostitution is so popular because guys just don't have to deal with. Being in, in a relationship with someone they don't want to be in, they can just like pay the money, get the job done, walk out of there. I guess you feel younger. I mean, I get asked for identification sometimes. <laughs> I, I, I went to a, uh, I went to a club in Australia, and I'd ne normally never go out, but I went to go inside to get some water, and the guy's like, "ID, mate." I'm like, "Dude, I'm 34." <laughs> a more physically attractive body. I gotta say, you know, like when I was 40 pounds heavier, you know, guys were not finding me that physically attractive. Mm -hmm. It was, it just wasn't the same. You know, I didn't have that fruity vibe. I didn't have the fruity physique. Flat stomach. Flat stomach. It just, it comes with the territory. You, you eat a low fat, a high carb, raw vegan diet lifestyle. You follow the lifestyle, and you're gonna get a more sexually attractive body. Guys, it's just. You know, I, I chat guys all the time. <laughs> guys just love my body. Oh, I have to, Especially I have to in fight Bangkok. them off. Especially in Bangkok. That's true, actually, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> no one wants to be with sick people. Only sick people want to be with sick people. 
desperate people want to be of desperate people. I just want some of that banana. Here, give me that. Yeah, she likes a banana <laughs> in her mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, definitely, oh, yeah. man. Like, yeah, it's way more stamina. I've said PBs in, in running, cycling, and sex, and kickboxing. Just mm -hmm. being like, into the raw vegan fruit, heavy carb, low fat, early nights, I can pop vouch hydration. For that. It's incredible. Even just in the last couple of years, like, my penis size. I mean, I can't prove that on YouTube, unfortunately. But, uh, oh, you would just love to do that, wouldn't you? <laughs> hardness and erectile function enhanced on this lifestyle, 100%. Can't prove that. Somehow. I can vouch for it though. There you go. The longer you do this lifestyle, the better results you get. 100%. It's the more you want to have sex, the more like the better your body looks. So the more other people want to have sex with you, um, the better your brain functions. So the more confident you are, the happier you are, and that is sexually attractive. It just is. You know, you bo, you don't have all this bad bo, bad meat dog breath. And you're just an all-round, more sexually attractive package. You're fresher. And sex itself is just more pleasurable. There's, it's longer. You care about your partner more. It just the benefits keep coming and coming. Honestly. Coming and coming. Coming and coming and coming and coming. <laughs> I've had a vasectomy six years ago, and I think that's definitely been a good thing for my sex life as well. Definitely, I don't have to worry about morning after pill or you know, <laughs> any sort of birth control. I'm, we're free to go at it like rabbits. <laughs> Seven billion people on the planet. That's not sexy. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, I think that's probably a little bit too many people and all the kids dying and starving and then a child dying every two seconds from starvation because we're stealing their grain to feed it to the livestock or instead of growing fruits and vegetables and grain, we're growing grass to feed cows to feed our fat asses and clog our arteries. More real sex, more love. More real sex, yeah. Not like bang, you know, bang bang. Anyone can pop some Viagra and, you know, well, not the guys at the gym I used to work out, they're like, they're, their erection strength is so low they have to do testosterone injections, they have to take Viagra, they have to watch a lot of porn just to get aroused. And, you put the animal products they're eating, it's just incredible. Yes. And on a physiological level, it's clogging up your arteries. So if you block an artery to the yeah. brain, you get a stroke. If you block an artery to your lungs, you get pulmonary embolism. If you block an artery to your penis, you get impotence. <laughs> or you can get partial impotence by having partially clogged arteries. So when, you're, when you bore out your arteries so they're like full on max blood flow, everything's working better. When you can do it the natural way and you can harden your banana, <laughs> you got to do it. When your carbs are strong, when your carbs are strong, so is your dong. And people say, oh, but yeah, my partner's not a vegan. It's like, get a new partner. Simple as that. I mean, do you want to be looking after people with impotence or heart disease because eating the paleo or primal diet? Do you want people being angry, like just freaking out because they've got all animal adrenaline in their system, so they've got uncontrollable anger, they just they can't control themselves, they're just flipping out and just dwelling on that for days and days. Or do you want people who are just Yeah, that's another thing, like when you're, more, when you're carved up, you know, you're more balanced and you're a happier person and that is more attractive. You got that more is stamina. more sexually attractive. Energy, energy, it takes energy to be a good lover. Yeah. It takes energy, you have to be athletic. Sex is sport, in my opinion. You have to have the energy to be able to give yeah. and receive. So, definitely. So, basically, if you want a harder banana, if you want more connection with your partner, if you want more sex in general, then high carb raw vegan is a way to go, or high carb cooked vegan if you can't do raw vegan. It's, a, it's going to work for you. You have to put it to the test. Don't take our word for it, do it. Start by having fruit for breakfast, fruit for lunch, and then like a McDougal style dinner, and eventually when you're ready or when you want, you can slip it to have fruit and salad for dinner. Keep your carbs high, 10 grams of carbs per kilo body weight, keep your fat intake under 10% of calories per day, keep your protein intake under 10% of calories per day, and you're laughing. Do the experiment yourself. Laughing all the way to the bedroom. Okay, so that's it. That's our sex on raw food. So, post your comments down below. 
what benefits have you seen since going vegan and increasing your fruits and vegetable intake or going raw? Or any other questions you have. Alright, see you. Post down below.